Hola, bienvenidos a otro vídeo de Apuntes de Español. En este vídeo vamos a estudiar el tercer tipo de verbos irregulares. Eh, son los verbos irregulares de cambio vocálico. ¿De acuerdo? The ones that we know as stand changing verbs. Ok, stand changing verbs. Before doing that, please remember to subscribe if you are interested in seeing more content like this one and also you uh, want to support the channel and uh, start by also downloading the worksheet that we are going to work with, okay? You can find it right there in the descriptions in the video. So, forma del pretérito verbos irregulares, los de cambio vocálico. El cambio vocálico en el pretérito, también conocido como cambio de raíz o stain changing, ocurre en ciertos verbos irregulares. Happens in some irregular verbs. Este cambio afecta a las terceras personas del singular. This is a very important thing. It cha this change only affects to third people, third person in the singular. El, ella, and usted, and also in the plural, ellos, ellas, ustedes. So that means that we will only apply this change in the third persons, either singular or plural, of the verbs that are the same changing verbs and they end in I are, okay? I'm going to show you a list of those, but only applies to stain changing verbs that are ending with I are. This change se, eh, se, es, se produce debido a cambios históricos en el idioma español para mantener la pronunciación, ¿de acuerdo? El primer grupo que vamos a estudiar son los grupos que cambian la O por la U. Solamente tenemos dos en este caso, son el verbo dormir, which means to sleep, and el verbo morir, which means to die. In this table here, I'm showing you how we can apply this rule. First of all, we're going to start from the example I slept. The verbo that we are using is verbo dormir, to sleep. La raíz, the stem of the verbo dormir, you know, is what we have left. Once we take out the ending, the ending is IR, therefore the stem is dorm. In this case, we don't have to apply any change because I is first person. And as I said before, we will only apply this change when we are in the third person, either singular or plural. In this case, no change in the stem. The ending is E. Therefore, the answer is dormi. In the siguiente ejemplo, he slept. We're going to see now how we have to apply the change since it's third person singular. So we do the same. We find the stem is dorm. And in this dorm, we will have to change the O for a U. It will get to durm, and we will see that in a second. The ending for he is going to be in the preterite tense. Io, therefore, durmio. Take one second to go over the next examples. We slept, and they slept. Complete them in your worksheet, and contrast it with the answers I'm showing you now. Stop the video if you need more time. Those are the answer. Dormimos and durmieron. Please notice how in they slept, durmieron, I am applying the change O to you because it's third person. And that is necessary to do in order to keep the pronunciation of the word as easier as possible. Siguiente ejemplo es el verbo morir, to die. In the examples I have I died, the verbo morir, stem is more, no change in the stem, the ending E. Morir. When we want, when we go to e, he, she, or it, morir will be more, but then I will have to change the O in more for you. Therefore, it will be mur. We will see that right there in the answer as murió. Okay, stop the video and complete we died and they died and check your answers with this. Morimos and murieron. So that's the first case of verbs that have a stain uh, change, okay? A, 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 un cambio vocálico. El si siguiente grupo es el verbo con cambios de vocálico terminados en IR que cambian desde E hasta I. And these are some of them. Pedir, servir, repetir, seguir, conseguir. So basically these verbs that are going to end with the vowels E, I, okay? Can you see that? Pedir, servir, repetir, e, i, e, i, e, i. Elegir, reír, corregir. So we have a pattern right there. And all those verbs are some of them. We have more to laugh, reír, to smile, sonreír, to measure, medir. Okay? So when we are 
working with any of those verbs, we will be doing exactly the same thing, which is instead of now, uh, instead of before that we did O to you, now we will do E to I. So in the stem, when we are working with third person, the E needs to go to I. So from meant to mint, and then adding the ending you, in this case, mintio. Okay, I'll give you more time to practice all that. Stop the video if you need, and let me show you the answers. Here you are the answers. And in here, you will find also the answers for the practice I'm including in the worksheet. I hope that this video is uh, interesting for you and you get to practice a little bit more these kind of changes in the STEM when we are in the preterite tense, okay? And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.